Hi you guys, quick unboxing of a couple of protective uh, cases for your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'm quickly going to go through both uh, cases and give you my uh, views on both cases and uh, the added advantage that each uh, case gives uh, to the protection of your uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. What we're going to do quickly, we're going to look quickly at the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Protective uh, Cover Plus. Uh, this is basically uh, a clip-on uh, cover that goes on the back, pretty much uh, the same as a lot of the covers that you actually see on uh, eBay, uh, but this is a Samsung product manufactured by Samsung and for their devices. Uh, so you can see it's basically a uh, polycarbonate uh, cover that clips over the uh, back and sides of the phone. Uh, very shiny, very uh, fingerprinty, magnety. Uh, looking quickly round it, the difference uh, on this uh, case compared to other cases, it's uh, Got this rubber side bumper area all the way around the edge that's seamlessly uh, welded into uh, the polycarbonate back. Uh, very soft and very rubbery around the edges. Uh, also a lip on the edge of the uh, side uh, buffer that goes right around the glass. So what we'll do quickly, we'll, uh, we'll get this into the device. So here we have the, uh, the Note 2, the titanium version. Uh, very sleek, very nice. To be honest, I'd prefer to carry it naked, but the uh, chances of dropping it and dinging this uh, just outweigh the pleasure of having it in your hand without the case on. So, what we'll do straight away, uh, we'll pop it into the case. Uh, very, very easy to put in. It's not hard to get in and out at all. Once it's in the case, very secure. Like I said before, the lipping comes right around the edge of the uh, device. What this gives is the added advantage that uh, if you put it face down onto a hard surface, uh, and you drop it, the glass is not going to be anywhere near the surface and it's not going to get affected by uh, the surface that you're putting it on. So, a good feature in that. Uh, the volume rocker on the side, very, very pre precise, works very well. There's no uh, problems like you did get with certain cases where you really have to press to get it to work. Likewise, on the other side, the uh, power button's the same, works very, very well. Uh, access to the 3.5mm headphone jack at the top. And on the bottom, really good access to uh, the S Pen, again, well protected. Uh, good cutout for the uh, speaker on the back and the camera and the flash. And good access on the bottom to microphones, the microphone on the top and the micro USB. Another advantage of this, with it being built out slightly on the back and a bit of thickness to it, when you put it face down again on the back, it protects the camera and the camera lens. So uh, another great uh, bit of uh, foresight there by uh, Samsung. The rubber buffer around the edge I really really like. If you were to drop this on a fairly hard surface I'm uh, pretty sure uh, that this would uh, take a few knocks no problem. Uh, like I say it's rubber all the way around the edge. Very very uh, tactile. Very grippy when you hold on to it so there's a good grip on the phone so there's no chance of actually losing your grip as uh, opposed to having the phone naked. Uh, I'll quickly turn the phone on and uh, you can see basically that it covers right the way around the front of the phone. Uh, doesn't interfere with any screen edge movement so you, you've still got the same uh, tactability off the edge of the screen. doesn't really interfere with anything you're doing. Uh, pull down menu is not affected. Anything uh, on the phone is perfectly clear to get out. All your buttons are okay. So the side bone, uh, button very tactile for the uh, power button. Likewise the volume rocker. Uh, no need to really hard press it. So that's the first phone uh, cover I wanted to look at. Uh, for my mind, although this adds a bit of extra uh, width, depth and height to the phone, very very good all round uh, cover. Uh, the added advantage in this cover for me is the fact that you can, uh, if you like to uh, sit at night and browse and you're on your couch or whatever, uh, you can quickly take this cover off. It's very very easy to get off. Uh, it's not a very uh, hard fit at all. It's very rubber around the edge. You can clip it off and you're back to your naked phone again. Uh, back to your thin, uh, beautiful uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, the second one we're going to look at quickly is the uh, official flip cover for the uh, Note 2. And it actually has on the back of this the NFC chip built into it so that uh, the NFC chip that's uh, incorporated in the official cover for the back of the phone is, is replaced so you retain that capability. So what we'll do, we'll quickly... Uh, Take the cover off the back of the uh, the Note 2. As you can see, there's the gubbins in the back, and there's the screen, the uh, titanium silver sides. I'll place that down out of the way. And I'll quickly uh, get this one out of its wrapper and case, very well uh, protected. 
Same type of packaging again, it's in a uh, very well uh, packaged case, uh, cardboard, plastic and plastic on the inside again. Uh, you can see this actually uh, replaces the backing on the phone, I'm sure you, a lot of you have seen the, uh, the videos on these. So the, the backing, the titanium uh, silver backing is the re exact replacement for the, uh, the one that I've just removed and if we uh, put them side by side, you can see they're virtually, well they are copies of each other actually. Uh, the only difference being that the side moulding is quite thick, a bit thicker where the actual uh, hinge part of the uh, cover goes in. And pretty much uh, reverse process of the, uh, the other one. So it's just a case of clipping the, uh, the new backing onto the phone. So you've got it clipped in all the way around. You just have to check that you've got all the little lugs clipped in place. And basically what you get with this phone is uh, pretty much... Uh, the original looking back to the phone and sides uh, so you've got access to all your uh, buttons just the same, you open it up you've got your volume rocker on the left hand side that's accessible only when you flip the cover right over uh, obviously your volume, uh, your power button I should say on the other side is accessible all the time USB jack on the bottom and all your other uh, jacks are available all the time what I do like about this uh, cover is it's got a soft uh, feel on the inside, protects the screen all the time uh, the back, to be honest, if it was to get a bit scuffed and a bit marked, you've always got the original back you can put on. And you've got the option with the uh, Note, just the same as the S3, to uh, change the back in anyway. One thing I don't like about this uh, case, it's very, very nice to put in your pocket, very sleek. It fits in the pocket uh, much better than the uh, bumper case. Now, what I find that I don't like about the case, if I quickly turn the device on... One of the things I don't like, first of all, is if I'm in uh, camera mode... Uh, Put that into ordinary camera mode and take that down as such. Uh, you can hold it this way and you've got this flappy case flapping around. Uh, if you put it the other way and try and get it out of the way under your hands, you, you're hitting other buttons and different bits and bobs. Let's just get the uh, multitasking tab back out of the way. So for my mind, unless you fold it around the back of the device, which is easy to do and hold it in one hand and use the device that way, I find it a bit cumbersome to be honest, it's, it's okay to hold it in the palm of your hand where you've, you're using it like a book and use your S Pen uh, in another way. As, as I said before, really nice case, looks really really nice and this brushed effect on the front matches the back of the device. The only thing for me, it tends to be a bit cumbersome when I'm uh, using it because like I say if you're browsing on the phone you can wrap it around the back, you can do that, but if you want to take a picture uh, it's no good wrapping it around the back because you're covering the lens, so you need to drop it down out of the way. Then you can't get your hands around the device properly, you, you're struggling on that side. If you turn it the other way, then you come to take a photo in that sort of uh, scenario. The flapping around cover over the top is then blocking some of the light going into the uh, camera aperture on the back. So obviously it affects the photos that way. You hold it that way in landscape and you're sort of trying to hold on to the cover that side or you're balancing it in one hand uh, the other way like that. So for my mind, it, obviously it's going to suit a lot of people. A lot of people are going to really like it because it, it virtually keeps your phone naked uh, while protecting the screen and also protecting the back uh, in as much as that you've got an alternate cover on the back that you can change uh, when you want to. Like I say, it looks fantastic. Great idea. bit cumbersome in uh, use. Uh, if you'd like to uh, leave feedback and a few comments below, I'll get back to you and I'll leave you uh, my thoughts on your comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'm going to get some more videos out in the near future.